Gemini, how you doing? Welcome to your weekly reading here on the Astro Flower, going from the 29th to the 5th of April, getting closer to your birthday season, really. Uh, so it could be a bit of reflection going on here about what you want to do in the coming year after your birthday. Uh, it's always a good time of year to do that sort of thing. The energy's really picked up and changed, and we saw that on the sun um which you might well be able to pick up on cymatic tv our sister channel or channel all that energy and there's been a change of the energies coming from the sun which has changed the energy of the earth changed us and this spiritual awakening that we talked about in the monthly readings and certainly within the collective reading is now we're in a situation where um uh, it's we've gone through putting into action our spiritual awakening and now it's um, sort of streamlining things. And when we streamline things, it doesn't come without complications. And sometimes it can be, um, you know, there can be some trials and tribulations, which we've seen within the weekly readings this week, this coming week. Uh, okay, so without further ado, let's get into your weekly reading. Here's the overall images here. Here's the karmic message on your relationship side. Karmic message on your financial side, influence in the universe, influence in past self, influence in future self, and the general sort of outcome. Okay, so let's just get into it and see what's happening for you. Justice, really good card here. This is a Libran card, but also at the same time, I think the overall energies and the universal energies are really helping out all the signs at the moment. It's almost as if they're encouraging us. It's like the carrot and the stick and the universe... And the overall energies is like the carrot here, tempting us forward, saying, come on, you keep going, keep heading down that pathway. And this is where it's the overall energy around you is, is making things much more harmonious. And it's giving you reason to think about certain things. And that could be within relationships as much within your financial side. It's like you're recognizing your reason. You're getting your just desserts, as it were. On your karmic path here, you get the magician. Because you're getting your just desserts and you've got this harmonious and you feel at one with yourself, you should be this week. This is allowing you to really explore, experiment with the idea of manifesting what you so desire in concerns with relationships that are around you. And this could be family, friends, community. This could be individuals, one-to-one uh, -one, uh, relationships. Sorry, I just had a spider on me. One-to-one um, -one relationships. Um, but in generally, it's you are instigating or in manifesting what you so desire. You know, it's on your karmic path to do this. It's as if like karma has given you a blank page and said, go and create, Gemini, go and create. And go and create with happiness. This is phenomenal beginning night of the reading. Look at that. You know, overall energy is justice, karmic path on your relationship side, influence in the universe. This is what I'm talking about when the um, overall energies and the universal energies are really encouraging here, really, you know, showing that carrot to you, sort of saying, come on, it, it's. It's making you laugh, the universe. And um, that laughter is allowing you to let go and relax. And when you can let go and relax, that's when you can really go after your happiness. I think this is where it's going to pay wonders to you. Look at this. I haven't seen a reading like this with you, Gemini, in some time. <coughs> Excuse me. From the past, I think you've done a lot in the past. I really think you've been working hard. I think you've had a lot to deal with. As well, Gemini, there is no doubt about it. Um, and through dealing with all of that stuff, it, it has made you incredibly stronger. And I would recognize the um, things that you've had to go through, which has made you stronger and which has made you go after what you want in life passionately. And it doesn't necessarily mean that I want a. Um, you know, uh, a person of this description, you know, and it's more of a case of coming out, I'm passionately going after it because I want to be in a couple or I want to be, uh, I want to be connected with my family a lot more, my friends a lot more, whichever way it is, you, you seem to be really connecting in a way that sort of 
is a driving force through your passions and your power because you know what you don't want. I think that's what's coming through and that's what's helping you to manifest your ultimate future. And yeah, and, and this is your ultimate future. This is what comes up after this week, after the, the 5th of May. So this is where you're sort of heading. And you're sort of heading to a place where you are putting yourself first. And we've talked about this many, many times before with you, Gemini. You're so nice that sometimes you forget about being nice to yourself. And I think this is what you're realizing. I think it's now that it's enacting that. And being nice to yourself is really starting to show its advantages. Uh, so it's reasons of why, you know, you should be nice to yourself. Yeah, there's a lot of healing that comes out this week in order for that to happen because you're manifesting something completely new and you're being driven or you're being goaded by your happiness in order to get there. And this is a real blessing uh, for you uh, more than anything else. It's, it's a sensation of not only of, of healing, it's also respite from the world. It's respite from the stress and strains. It's also of um, feeling at one and at home with the people and the general things that are around you. Uh, you know, I think it's a really, really good thing for you. Really, really good thing for you. Um, that's the general outcome on your relationship side. On your financial side, on your karmic path, you get the Ace of Pentacles. We've talked about it many times. Massive opportunities in your life at the moment. And it could be for the next year. It depends when you're ready to take it. But on your karmic path here, you have this opportunity, this golden nugget, this, um, this passion, this physical thing within your life and the material. And this could be to do with a job, business, project. You've got the opportunity, and it's on your karmic path, to uh, get this better job, to get this ultimate job, or get this start, this ultimate business, or... or, or, or um, you know, project or whatever it is, you're definitely working towards something that's a lot better. And the universe is cutting out, um, you know, um, conflicts around you. It's protecting you from conflicts around you that doesn't serve anything petty stuff that you just don't need to be in because you haven't got time for that. You've got to get in and get, um, get engaged with that whole sort of um, that opportunity that's heading your way. I think the universe is sort of saying to you, take a direction, choose a direction that is not conflictual for you, that is not complicated for you. Choose the easy way, which provides for you more than anything else. I think it's been difficult for you to see the truth in the past. And I think this is what the veil is being lifted from your eyes here at the moment from your past. You couldn't see it. You kind of say, I could do this, I could do that. Maybe it'd be good to do this. I'm not too sure. And now it's the veil has been lifted because it's now on your karmic path and it's obvious what you should be taking. And I think the past is now being unveiled and you're probably going to be looking at the past kind of going, and as I said, you know, you're coming into the last couple of months before your birthday, then, uh, you know, this is a moment of reflection. And I think you're sort of realizing a lot of things coming kind of saying, oh, look, if I'd done that, I would have had that. No, oh, gee whiz, I won't do that next time. I'll, you know, I'll do the opposite thing. And it's revealing a lot to you about your past. And this helps you to be a lot more just about yourself, a lot more happy, a lot more in harmony with yourself. It really does bode well for you. In the future, future, and this is where you get the three of cups. I think this is where you're joining something new. This could be a business that you're creating, so you're employing new people. It's a very celebratory sort of thing. It's internet. It's a internet. Could well be. Um, it's interacting with other people around you, networking in a very joyous way. Uh, it could be a new job, meeting new people, getting uh, you know, uh, celebrating life again. I think that's what comes out of this week. So for the going future you start celebrating life and this opportunity that comes through with the ace of pentacles this opportunity is going to tickle your curiosity it's almost like an opportunity that you're kind of going really that for me you reckon do you reckon i can do that and it's you kind of kind of going wow you know what i'm going to go for it i'm going to wander off and see how it gets you know, see what the results are. 
there's a lot of curiosity in all of that. There's a lot of sort of this, there's one aspect of life that seems to be done. You don't want to be in caught in conflictual sort of situations, not even within yourself or outside. And it's revealing a lot from the past of the things that mm, weren't really sitting right for you. And now it's becoming very, very clear which direction you should be taking. And you've just got to follow that curiosity, which will open the door to greater success for you. Yeah. So let's just do a bit of clarification with the Light Sears card. Thank you very much for all the appreciation you showed to this channel through YouTube. Really much um, appreciated from that side as well. Uh, yes, uh, there's also the stuff on Cymatic TV uh, uh, that you might want to sort of see as well. Could this to be to do with legal papers and stuff like that? It's very possible. It's very possible that financially you didn't see something coming that was a legal success or a contractual success and stuff like that. There's a possibility of that. Uh, but there is also sort of like being, you know, the overall energies here, this is the general energies, and it's bringing in harmony into your life. It's almost sort of saying to you, it's okay for you to be you and, and prepare and provide for you. And that provide for you is not necessarily on a physical level, it could also be on an emotional level, uh, on a spiritual level. Whatever it is, it's providing for you in order for you to be the best example of yourself, reaching, you know, for the for the ultimate goal for who you sh who you would like to be. Uh, and this is on both sides, on your relationship as much as on your financial side. And your karmic mission with your uh, magician, your karmic mission on your relationship side, you get the Ten of Wands. This is also the Ten of Wands is coming to the end of a journey. And they've accumulated loads of things. And the thing is, those loads of things have great value. It may mean you're just carrying a lot at the moment, but it gives you also the, you know, the abundance of different things for you to manifest going forward. And I think you took on a lot of responsibility for others. Um, and I think now you're starting to manifest a whole new way of doing things where you know, you may not want to sort of carry too much for other people. And you're freeing yourself up, apparently, because that's what comes from the Eight of Swords, which is on the floor, which is just, I've just dropped, excuse me a second. From the Eight of Swords, which is just freeing yourself up. So obviously, you need to set yourself free in order to manifest things, manifest love in your life. With the sun, you get the um, empress here, creating something new. You're manifesting it. You really are. And I think you're manifesting it through your passions. And it, it, it's been a passionate journey up to now. And it's helped you to realize what you should be going after. And now, with emotions readily available, but not necessarily on the surface, you can then follow what makes you happy inside you uh, to its conclusion. And it seems like this is a whole new thing that you are creating and nurturing. Yeah, obviously. It's all about that. That king of wands there is empowered you to start nurturing your own future seven of pentacles above it in the future self you got the six of pentacles because you're actually putting it into action i think you're nurturing this passionate direction that you wish to take your life um which gives you the results gives you the uh, the returns basically and with the six of pentacles you get the ace of ace of wands <laughs> Out with the old and in with the new. Out with the old you and in with the new. And this ties in as well to this, this four of pen, uh, four of swords. You're getting the healing, so then therefore you can start concentrating on yourself. And this is where you can start really passionately living life with this ace of wands. It's, it gives you a laser focus for your passions, a laser focus for that king of wands, 
that you've been nurturing for so long. And it seems like in the future, you can just be that real fire starter and open up to the, the possibilities that you can have. Yeah, you're, you're going through this healing in order to go on a mission. That's what's going on. And you are, let me just sort of, um, that healing there is helping you to manifest your ultimate dreams and your ultimate desires, basically. You know, your happiness, your contentment that is within you. Um, that's where you're, that's where you're going now. And this healing is really allowing you, freeing you up so you can follow this on a mission on a night of shining armor. And this could be you helping other people as you always do. Um, and it could open up a really passionate thing for, for you going forward. Uh, a real passionate mission to go on, uh, which is, yeah, it's, it's incredibly driving as a force. Uh, and it makes you, you know, makes you sure 110% about doing this. And it's really good. And I think it works for you. This is the difference here. It works for you as well. You're not just giving, giving, giving. You're also receiving. And that is really, really good. Let's just see what goes on with this Ace of Pentacles on your financial side. And you get the Seven of Swords. This is going to make you play smarter. There is no doubt about it. This opportunity that's um, coming into your life that's, you know, provoking your curiosity is going to make you play smarter. And I think this smarter thing is all about quality rather than quantity. That's the thing that seems to be coming back with this spiritual awakening. And within your, your life and within what's going on, I think this is where you're going to be smarter about choosing the opportunities that are going to be beneficial, not just for you, but for also for your emotions, for your well-being, for your physical sense. There's a lot of things going on here. Yeah, don't waste your time. The universe here is sort of saying it's shielding you from conflictual sort of situations so you can go after your ultimate dream. The, you know, the, the star card there. You're going after it. And, and the universe is like clearing the decks in order for you to, so you've got a clear run at your dreams. You know, your clear run at, at your ambitions. Um, and it's unveiling the past so your happiness can shine through. That's twice we've got the sun on the table now. Um, and I think this all stems from this idea or golden opportunity that is on your karmic path that comes into you. You're shining light on things of the past, which you couldn't quite see why it worked. It's like you're getting information from a past job and you'll kind of realize, kind of go, oh, that's why I couldn't get the career. You know, I couldn't get the promotion I wanted and what have you. And, you know, this is allowing you, it's freeing you up to let go of all of that, to go into a place that's bringing a lot more to you. And this happiness, this celebration is because things are working. It's revealing that ace of pentacles there. Uh, that's because there's one pentacle there that's in a bag and uh, on this card here. And it's actually, it's revealing to you what is working in the future going forward. And it's a real celebration for you. Um, where is this curiosity taking? What's the general outcome with the Eight of Cups? This curiosity is going to allow you to see things in a different light. And I think this is what this playing smart is all about. Quality rather than quantity as you go forward. Um, and with this comes absolutely a real clarity of seeing both sides of the story here. And I think this is what this is about. And seeing how to work things in your favor, no matter what. It's uh, a lot easier for you to progress in your career path, in your business, and in your projects. Because that curious side is opening up new understandings and how to um, advance um, any sort of projects or, or businesses and so forth. Um, yeah, there you go, Gemini. Thank you very much for being with us. Really do appreciate it. Uh, don't forget about all the stuff that we're doing over on Cymatic TV. Uh, I'll either see you there or I'll see you here for the monthly readings which are coming out next week. And we're going to be doing it in a different way according to the Astro Flower. It's going to be very interesting. Certainly going to be very interesting how you guys take it, you know, how, how you interact with it. It's, it's, we're trying to, I'm trying to bring the, the Astro Flower to the fore and the understanding that we have in the Astro Flower. 
uh, in the monthly reading. It's going to be quite interesting. Uh, yeah, so either I'll see you over at Sun Magic TV or I'll see you here, whichever way it is. It'll be lovely to see you again. In the meantime, don't forget, life should be fun, so please do enjoy.